yeah, there were killings, shootings, kidnappings going on in the northwest mm. part of Cameroon. So I had to stop mm. school. And thank God for my mom. She asked me to learn a trade. So during um, that time, I had to learn a trade. I did, um, I was a phone technician. I had to learn how to repair phones and laptops. Yeah, wow. so you no. Know, it was quite, it was really rare to see a, a lady going to learn um, phone and um, phone repairs, but that was what I liked to do. And my boss too mm. was a woman. So mm. I had to learn phone repairs for six months, seven months. And after that, I could repair phones. So before moving to the UK, is it like you have a family member there or uh, any sibling relative or something? No. I have relatives here, but not close relatives. So okay. before the UK, what was in my mind was I am going into a country where I have nobody. I'm going to start on my own. I didn't really understand him at that time, at that point. Mm. Why? Because I just felt that if you're out of the country, you should be making it and you should be living well. Mm. It's after I traveled out that I really understood what my father has been going through. You are saying if you are making like 1,300 pounds in Africa, in Cameroon, you will not travel to the UK? No, no, I will not travel to the UK. Mm, because you are there now, that's why you are saying that. You've seen the yeah, ground. Yeah, yes. I've, I've seen both sides. I've seen both sides. If I'm, if I'm earning that, I will not travel to the UK. But the reason why I'm saying that is because... I'm not earning more like what I was expecting to be earning in the UK. I encourage everyone in the UK struggling, especially those that just came in. I encourage you, I will, no matter what you're going through now, it's going to get better. Let's try to upgrade ourselves so we mm. can get better opportunities. Mm. Some people are saying now it's hard to get a job. There are no jobs in the UK. Is it true? Yeah, it's very difficult getting a job now. Mm. It's very difficult. That's why I spoke about upgrading, getting your certificates, driving license, because most of the jobs now, they're going to ask you, do you drive? If you don't drive, you're out of the list already. So mm. it's not getting a job now. It's very, very difficult. Wow.